Kia ora everyone, welcome to our video on how to make a poi with Mariah Brown. Kia ora, I'm Mariah and today I'll be teaching you how to make a poi. So first you'll be needing two different types of wool. It'd be preferable if you had two colours but if you want to use the one that's quite fine. Um, you'll also be needing a pair of scissors, some sellotape, some wool of another kind, and also a plastic bag. So this is just to keep everything in. So first, we'll be measuring how long your wool needs to be. So you'd go from the middle of your finger, the tip of the middle of your finger, all the way to your elbow. Now this is just so that it'll be the right length for you. Um, if you wanted to do it with your friend's ones, that's fine. Um, so you'd open it up like so, and then you'll just do this about four times. So this just gives it enough wool so that the plate when you do it will be thick enough. Um, also, if you want to make a thicker one, you can also just add an extra one. You can, don't have to do four. So, and we'll just snip these. And put it in half, like so. Then we're going to grab the second colour. And we're just going to wrap these so we can have the length for our pom-pom and you can wrap that about 10 times and if you want a bigger pom-pom you can just wrap it some more so like 50 or 100 even and you can also have different colors in your pom-pom to make it pretty as well then we're just gonna snip there and we'll snip it in half over here if you mistakenly cut one like this, that's fine. You can just keep it on the side for later. Our little strings are actually quite useful for when you're doing some other part of the poi. Then we're just going to thread it through your white or other coloured wool like this. So that it looks like so. Now it would be preferable if you had a friend for you to hold the pom-pom so you can plait it. But if you don't, that's fine. You can just grab something heavy like this. And just put this on top of the pom-pom so that when you're plaiting, it doesn't really move. Now, I'm just going to do a simple three plait with this, but you can also learn how to do a four plait. But since I'm just making a basic one, I'll just do the three. So you're grabbing the out one, the outside wall, and you're putting it in between the other two. And then you do that the same with the other side. Now, you're going to keep doing this until you get to about a certain length. And then once you get to that certain length, you're just going to grab it so that it's two sides and make it so you can tie it like a shoelace like so. Now I've prepared one earlier and it should end up looking like this. This is what you want it to look like. So you actually need a little bit of length at the bottom so when you tie it around your wool of another kind, it'll be able to keep this stable. So we'll just grab a bit of wool and we'll tie it around. Now you're going to want to tie that nice and tight like a shoelace and you're going to want to do that twice because when you're playing with your poi these parts might actually come out so it's quite great if you have this nice and tight like so. So our next part is when you wrap it around the plastic bag. So we're just going to place this in the middle and you've got to make sure this part stays outside of the plastic bag and make sure that it doesn't fall into your plastic bag. So we're just going to stuff it so that all the wool gets up in there. And you're just going to wrap it so that the top part is like a ball. And you can just give it a little twist so that it's easier to tie around. So I'm going to grab the other string that I had before. I'm just going to wrap that twice. And then I'm going to tie it like a shoelace, like I did the other times. One and two. Cool. And then if there's any extra string like this, you can just snip those off. Okay. So now I'm going to get some sellotape and I'm just going to wrap it around. This round the bottom of the ball like this. like so. So you can actually cut it off from here if you want to but 
I am just going to make it double stable by wrapping the extra plastic bag and I'm just going to wrap it around like this. So this is so that it doesn't act, the plastic bag doesn't come out. And I'm just going to grab one of the strings from the pom pom. I'm just going to wrap it around. So this part is actually quite complicated. So it would be cool if you had a friend to hold the plastic bag down. But if you don't, then that's okay. You can just keep trying until you get it. And then you'll want to wrap that around again. So that it cuts like that. And then you just want to snipping off the extra string. So once you've got up to this part, you're actually wanting to cut off the excess plastic bag. So I'm just going to trim around that. And you've got to make sure that this part of the point stays away from your cutting, otherwise you might accidentally cut it off. So I'll just keep going around. And if you just want to trim it off a bit more. So it might look like so. But if you see any extra like that, you can just sellotape that with some extra sellotape. Like this. So then it'll look like so. So for the final part, I'll be showing you how to do your pom-pom. So if your friend is still there with you, you can grab an excess string from your pom-pom or an extra one you have on the side. And you're just going to wrap the string around this part here. So I'll just wrap that with another string and just tie that off. And then you just want to do it again and then tie it off. And then you cut off your excess string. Then if your pom pom is a bit, you think your pom pom is a bit too long, you can just trim that as well. And there we have it, how to make a foil. So, go keep there.